Hi, I'm Sandro Galea. I'm the Dean of the School of Public Health at Boston University, where we are sitting right now. And I'm delighted to have with me Dr. Malia Sharva, who is the CEO and founder of Savonics. Malia, welcome. Thank you so much for having me here today. When I reached out to you about getting involved in an Alzheimer's study, why do you see Alzheimer's as a public health issue? I think population aging is one of the two most important forces that are going to shape the world in, in the coming 50 years. Today, we have more people over the age of 65 than under the age of five worldwide. With that comes challenges with neurological function and neurodegenerative disorders. So the prevalence of Alzheimer's and of disorders like it is increasing. It is becoming a public health issue of great importance. When we think about the ASSIST study in particular, what was it about a population health study looking at how the brain ages and its relationship to these different factors that drew your attention? Much of the science in this area focuses on small groups, but you are looking at the whole population and frankly that's where the burden of disease is. The mistake we make in health is to say I have in front of me a 46 year old woman and she is a patient with these particular diseases. That is a person who has lived for 46 years, who has had experiences, all of that together contribute to the health picture she has at that particular age. That's true for you, it's true for me, it's true for all of us. Genetics matters just as much as whether I smoke or drink matter, just as much as where I live, the food I eat matter, all of these pieces matter. And that's what a population health study does. It is a game changer to be able to say, can we anticipate, diagnose, prevent dementia? If we can do that, we are going to improve the lives of millions. So Malia, what do people need to do to get involved with the study? The first thing they need to do is go to the study website, www.assiststudy.org. And then there's a big button on that web page that says join the study. If they click that join the study button, then they're gonna be taken to a consent form. It's gonna tell them some information about the study, what's going to happen. Then they'll be taken into a health questionnaire that asks them a lot of questions about their health history. So it's about 30 minutes total for at-home participation in the study. If I participate in the study, how will I know what the study's findings are? And at the end of the study, we're going to share the results with everyone in the study, the more broad study results and what we found. But we're also going to be sending personal summary reports to each of the participants. How many people do you hope will participate in the study? We want about 400,000 people. Have there been studies of this size in this area? Not in cognition. So this really will be breaking new ground? Completely new ground. Thank you, Malia, for uh, coming to Boston joining us. Thank you for having me, Sandro. As a reminder, if you want to participate in the ASSIST study, please visit www.assiststudy.org to find out more about how to join this groundbreaking research in Alzheimer's disease.